Want to create multiple email addresses, all within one Gmail account? Whether it's for newsletters, shopping, or keeping your inbox organized, I'm going to show you how to do it within minutes. No need to create new accounts. Why use multiple email addresses? Using multiple email addresses from one Gmail account helps you filter and sort incoming mail, track who's selling your data, create unique emails for signups, stay organized without the hassle. Method one, the plus trick. I am using my Gmail, andrewjonah6060 at gmail.com. I can use Andrew plus Jonah 6060 at gmail.com, Andrew Jonah plus 6060 at gmail.com, and plus Rebu Jonah 6060 at gmail.com. And guess what? All those emails will go to your main inbox, Andrew Jonah 6060 at gmail.com. You can create unlimited versions this way. It's perfect for filtering spam or organizing incoming mail. Method two, dot variations. Gmail doesn't recognize dots in addresses. So andrew.jonah6062 at gmail.com or in .drewjonah6060 at gmail.com, they all go to the same inbox. But there is a quicker method of generating unlimited Gmail from one Gmail account. Go to Google and search for Gmail generator. Click this one and let it open up. This is where you put your Gmail address. So I copy my Gmail address and paste it in the space provided. And click generate. It has generated so many Gmail addresses for me to use when registering on websites. Up here, it is showing us the number of Gmail accounts possibly generate with this one Gmail account. Let's copy any random address from this list and use it to create an account with DeepSeek.com. We go to DeepSeek.com. Click to sign up, paste the randomly copied email. then fill up the other information. We have successfully created account with deepseek.com. You can use this method to create multiple accounts with some website if the need arises. So there you go. You can create unlimited Gmail addresses using just one account. No extra logins, no extra headaches, just smart email management. If this helped you out, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments how you're using your new Gmail aliases.